Stories tonight about drug abuse in Montgomery County. Hundreds of addicts detoxing with a legal drug now have to pay for that treatment. Pam Elliott explains the concern. So basically, the way I look at it is you're just putting the addicts back on the street. And you watch the news in the morning and the evenings. Um, there's already so many robberies. This woman did not want to be identified for fear she'd be cut off from her methadone treatment. If I can't get my methadone uh, after about the fourth day, um, I'm throwing up. I'm in the bathroom. My legs are kicking all night long. And it's about a two to three week process. She and hundreds of people are now having to pay $2 a day, up to $12 a week, for doses of methadone, known as an opiate agonist. They come to Project Cure in Dayton for cupfuls, hoping to beat addictions to heroin and prescription painkillers. Clinical director Dwight Richards says all you have to do is look at the clinic to see why the money is needed. We're the last free clinic, um, opiate agonist treatment clinic in Ohio. Uh, now we're the cheapest. Richard says two-thirds of the clinic's funding comes from the human services levy in Montgomery County. And despite the passage on Election Day, there are no additional dollars attached. Richard says Project Cure needs a new building to meet the increased demand. Without some additional funding sources, which, which we've been unable to locate, uh, Project Cure is, is at, at some risk. So would you say that the Miami Valley is safer because this clinic exists? I would say without a doubt. Without a doubt. Pam Elliott, 2 News on your side.